going on guys? Back on episode 4. So today's gonna be uh, a body. As you guys know, uh, or as I've mentioned in previous videos, I split my upper body power day up. So today's uh, basically just chest. Working up to this, uh, I'm not sure why, but I felt really weak um, this day for whatever reason. Um, just going up to my working sets. So I only got uh, 245 on there. And uh, I've gone heavier, and I probably could have gone heavier um, on this particular day. Uh, but uh, I'm really just focusing on my form now. Uh, so I'm really trying to bring my elbows in a lot closer to my body. Um, this camera view actually gives you a pretty good uh, angle to see how close I try to keep my elbows in place. Um, and that's just, you know, just preventative measure for down the road. Um, so I don't get any strain on my, uh, on my shoulders. If I widen up, you know, it, uh, if I keep my elbows wide, then yeah, then that's when, um, that's when I feel the shoulder strain. Like back in the day, and, you know, when you'd have to bench press for weight, uh, weight training or whatnot in high school, um, that's how everyone would bench, you know, you weren't really taught any better, so, of course, that's how I used to bench back in the day, but, um, just kind of getting back into the groove of bench pressing right now, um, so like I said, I, I, could pro I probably could have gone heavier this day, um, and in general, but I feel like my chest development is, you know, fairly decent, so I'm not worried too much about the weight right now that's on there of course um you know i, I use it as a gauge uh, and i know it's gonna move up but right now i'm just really focusing on on my form because i know just keep, if i just keep doing what i'm doing i'm gonna the weight's gonna increase <laughs> uh, next movement we got dips um, so Right here, I just got 90 pounds on, on the belt. Again, this is movement I've gone heavier on. Um, four reps and kind of like maxing out. See if I can find the video and post it on maybe my next chest routine that's uh that i post um but on this um i'm more focused on uh, in my workouts in general i'm more focused on hitting my reps uh, as i've explained in the past videos with my dips i try to lean in a bit so i get more chest activation and less tricep activation uh, yeah i really just trying to focus on getting my reps uh, hit my reps, so I'm going for uh, at least six to ten, like two to three sets of six to ten uh, on these weighted dips. And uh, yeah, I just I don't worry, I try not to worry about the weight too much because you know, I'm kind of hypocritical about this topic, but uh, going in to the gym and you know, lifting the most amount of weight, it's impressive and. Uh, you know, you get everyone kind of staring at you, whatnot, uh, and you will see strength gains from it. So I'm not against it, but uh, over time, um, you're also a lot more susceptible to injuries. Uh, <laughs> I know from firsthand experience. So you gotta lift heavy, lift a little crazy, but don't be stupid at the same time. Um, it's kind of a you know, I, I know I'm very hypocritical about this topic, but uh, it's just something that I uh, you know, gotta have a balance. 
here I'm going for 100 on the incline and 100 pound dumbbells on the incline and I said earlier I just wasn't feeling too strong that day and uh, kind of just frustrated uh, that I couldn't <laughs> move it so friend came over called Google Maps <laughs> um, so he came over asked me if I needed a spot to uh, kind of suck up my pride and go a little bit lighter, so I went with 95s. And still, you could see I just I couldn't move that first one up at all. Um, I'm going for three sets of six to ten here. After that first one, I felt after he helped me in my just initial lift off, felt pretty strong. Um, and I'm not sure. I can't remember that day if I didn't eat enough. I ate too much, I just wasn't in the right mind state, I guess. But, um, on, on this particular movement, and in movements in general, like uh, any dumbbell movements, dumbbell press, uh, dumbbell shoulder press, anything like that, um, I don't really count the first one whether I get a spot or not. I try not to count the first one as a rep. So, for example, he helped me right there, so I, I don't really count it. Or even if I just were to move that up by myself, uh, I don't really count it, because you kind of got momentum going with you, uh, for the most part. And then, uh, so I'm going for three sets of, you know, up to ten reps, basically. And uh, my third set, I just kind of go in for failure, pretty much. So you get like nine or ten. <laughs> always happens to me like usually on my last set of exercises I'm uh, <laughs> I don't know it's all a mental thing again but I just always feel stronger on my last set and because I know it's my last set that one felt the best out of all three sets and then to finish off my chest workout I do dumbbell flies so, chest workout is, uh, my chest day is, uh, you know, I'm still there for a while, but it's not too many exercises. Um, you know, for me, well, I mean, <laughs> it's proven, but the chest is not a huge muscle. So, you know, you, uh, my belief is I don't need to be in there hours and hours at the gym to hit my chest. So, you know, it's basically upper and lower chest for the most part um, so you know you don't really need to be in there four or five six hours just hitting chest that's to me that's not being efficient with my time um, so as you can see I do flies I do dumbbell flies different than most people um, I like to keep my elbows in slightly as if I'm doing the pec deck um, to save my shoulders <laughs> uh, I've done it the other way and to be honest um, even when I go with 25s and do it that way I feel it I feel a shoulder strain you know if I widen all the way out um, and I don't feel my chest involved when I do it that way at all so uh, I mean you could even see on the video my chest is getting a pretty good pump doing it this way so uh, before you start critiquing I'd recommend you uh, try try this way out See how your shoulder feels, see if your sho shoulder feels better the next day or uh, in a couple weeks. And then um, you can make your make a judgment call based on that. But like I said, I don't, I, I feel a great chest pump when I do it this way, when I bring in my elbows slightly, um, as opposed to just letting it fly all the way out. Um, I, I feel a huge strain on my shoulders when I do that, so... Uh, 
That's why I've, ad I've adapted to doing this. Uh, <laughs> my friend told me it's a, which is true, it's a uh, hybrid between like a uh, a dumbbell uh, press and a dumbbell fly. So it's worked for me. Try it out. Let me know if it works for you, and then let me know in the comments what you think of it after you try it out. So this concludes um, my chest routine for the day. I might start including uh, upper my this chest routine in my upper body full power day, but I like splitting it up so I have a little bit more time to focus on the individual muscles. So. Go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks again for watching. Share with your friends. Thank you.